Uh, Mr. President, uh, judges and, and litigants in our state of Kansas uh, have been anxious to, to have the vacant positions in our state filled. One of those two vacancies in, in district judgeships uh, is the longest open vacancy in the country. And today we accomplished the filling of one of those positions uh, with the confirmation of John Brooms. Uh, I rise to express my pleasure to my colleagues uh, and to Mr. Brooms, my pleasure in his willingness to be considered for this position, to be nominated by the President and now to be confirmed by the United States Senate, and to my colleagues for seeing his qualifications, experience, and capabilities and making that confirmation happen uh, just a few moments ago. Uh, he is a highly qualified individual. He is a well-respected attorney, and he has the intellect and legal and uh, legal mind and legal experience uh, to be and to receive this lifetime appointment to the federal judge, as a federal judge. I take, I take these lifetime appointments very seriously, and I want to make certain that as a Kansas senator, as a United States senator, I'm doing my part to put highly qualified and soundly principled judges in place to serve Kansas and the country. Uh, John Brooms meets these qualifications. In my conversations with him over the last year, uh, he expressed a judicial philosophy that is dedicated to the interpretation of the law as written, recognition that no person is above the law, and treatment for all litigants in a fair and legal fashion. I appreciate Mr. Broom's naval service to our country, his willingness to serve as a mark of his character and his love for our nation. I want to highlight a note from a distinguished professor at uh, Washburn Law School in Topeka, Kansas. Uh, he indicated in his letter that uh, he found Mr. Brooms to be, quote, the most gifted legal mind he has ever encountered. Equally important, he is an honest and principled person and among the very best lawyers I know. Uh, Dr. David Pierce, the law school professor, is a highly regarded member of the faculty and chair of the Washburn Business and Transactional Law Program, and his confirmation of my view of John Brooms uh, is very fulfilling to me as well. Gives me great confidence that uh, we have made a wise decision today. Mr. Brooms served as a law clerk to two United States, uh, one a magistrate and one a district judge. Uh, judge uh, Balat, Judge Monty Balat, and District Magistrate Judge Donald Bostwick, and their reputation and experience add to Mr. Broom's qualifications. Uh, I met Mr. Broom's family, and I was so impressed with uh, him as a father and the family. I was impressed with his wife and their children. Uh, he has a reputation as a solid, decent, and conscientious person and a man with a conscience. But he also has a reputation for well-managing cases and resolving complex litigation. Uh, he has been a valuable attorney uh, to the Hinkle Law Firm. It's a highly regarded law firm in Wichita, Kansas. And uh, that firm is known for employing uh, associates and having partners who meet the qualifications that we would want to be a judge. He focuses on business and natural resource law. And that uh, knowledge of those kind of cases will be very valuable to litigation that uh, is heard in my state. Mr. Brooms was unanimously confirmed by the Senate Judiciary Committee in December, and I appreciate the support my colleagues uh, have demonstrated on his confirmation today. Thank you, Mr. President.